Hello. Today I'm going to do things a little bit differently than normal. I'm not going to share my weigh-in like I normally do. I will say this much. When I weighed on Monday, I was up over a pound for the weekend. Uh, not exactly the way I wanted the holidays to start, but it's okay. I'm not going to stress out about all this. And that sort of goes along with what I am going to share with you today. You see, Christmas, as wonderful as it can be, it can also be a hard time to get through. You know, I had two friends that made their way to heaven this week. And right to begin with, I mean, I was upset. Both of them died suddenly. They had wonderful lives. Uh, one was not as young as the other, but it was so unexpected, and you always wish you had that last time to talk to them or to tell them how much you loved them, and I won't have that chance on this earth. But I will spend eternity with them. And after a couple of days, after the first one passed away, I began to realize that. And I began to find my joy again. Yes, I'm still sad. I'm still going to miss her and miss the uh, other person that passed away yesterday. But I had so many wonderful memories with both of them. Completely different aspects of my life. But God gave me some wonderful memories and luckily I was able to think of those yesterday instead of dwelling on all the sadness and all the grief and all the loss I began to look at the joy of the memories that we shared and I wanted to explain to you how I'm able to do that now you know a couple of years ago it will be two years in February I lost my oldest sister and I was grief-stricken for quite a while. <laughs> I was lost. I didn't know what to do with my time anymore because I had spent quite a bit of time with her. And I'm so thankful that a dear friend of mine at church had given me this book. She gave it to me in 2018 not knowing how badly I was going to need it in 2021. But God knew. God knew I was going to need it. And I'm going to share that book with you here in a minute. But first, I want to share with you a few scriptures. Um, when my father passed away in 1996, I was fortunate enough to find two verses that are very similar to the verse that I'm going to talk about later. And they became my life verses. I'm going to read them. You know, I do know them by heart, but sometimes I don't get them word for word. So I want to read this. It's the uh, New International Version. And it's Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I needed that. I needed that sorely when my father passed away. He passed away quickly, unexpectedly, and we were really trying to figure out, you know, what would he have wanted to do? How would he have wanted my mother to be taken care of and all the loose ends that he left? How would he want them handled? And those verses helped to get me through more than the first few years. Uh, like I said, that was 1996, and I still turn to those verses quite often to get that peace. That peace that transcends all understanding. Because I'm a Christian, so I should have that peace. And so those verses have always been very special to me for these last 26 years. 
Now, when my sister died in February of 2021, I found myself lost again. I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I, I was so sad and so grief stricken. I didn't know what to do. But that's when I found this book I was telling you about. And it, the name of it is 40 Days to a Joy-Filled Life by Tommy Newberry. And that's what I needed to find again. I had no joy and I wanted it back. And this book, 40 Days to a Joy-Filled Life, it centers around one verse in particular, and I'm going to read that to you. And amazingly, it's the very next verse after the two I just read. It's Philippians 4, verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, Think about such things. And the long and short of it is if you take that verse to heart and think about good things, you'll get that joy back. It took me the whole 40 days. I guess I started this book uh, toward the end of March of 2021. My sister had been in heaven for about six weeks when I found it, and I knew the minute I saw the title that I needed that book. And I, I did exactly what it said to do. I read just a little bit each day, and for 40 days, by the 1st of May, I was through the book. And I was a different person. I honestly was. That's why I so recommend the book. I went from being lost, grief-stricken, sad all the time, crying, depressed, to finding the good parts of life, to finding that my sister, I had wonderful memories with her. Yes, I was still sad that she was in heaven and not here on earth for us to be able to talk to one another, but I knew I was going to see her again, and I had a lifetime full of wonderful memories that I could dwell on, you know, to think about. So this is my Christmas message today. If you find yourself being depressed because maybe this is your first Christmas to spend without a loved one, maybe you lost a job that you really loved and, and, and you're searching for another one, Maybe life has not turned out the way that you had always hoped it did. You've ended a relationship that you thought was going to be a lifetime. Just all different things can make us sad. I recommend you find in this book and you'll be a different person once you read it. We have to look toward the joy we have to find the joy in our lives so that we won't be sad all the time. You know, maybe you haven't, it, it may be something as simple as you haven't lost the weight that you expected to lose in 2022. If you find your joy, it will be amazing what can happen. And I'll give you a perfect example of that. By the time I finished reading this in May of 2021, I had been away from YouTube for almost 10 months. I had a lot of things on my plate in July of 2020, and I just didn't feel like I could be an encouragement to all of y'all. Well, after I read this book, the next thing I knew, I was back on YouTube, and I had encouraging words to share with people. And I attribute a lot of it to this book. I had uh, gained some weight during all that craziness where we had to stay at home all the time. I'd gained about eight or 10 pounds. By July, I had gotten that weight off, and I have not, I've not come close to that weight 
for, I mean, we're going on 18 months now. And I attribute it to having joy again. So if you are searching for joy, this book, you know, pick it up, read it every day, do the little exercises. They're very simple to do. And not just that, I do want you to remember Philippians and the fourth chapter. That chapter is full of wonderful words that God gave to the Apostle Paul and he shares with us. You can get a Bible online for free. I don't know if you noticed when I picked this up, this is on my tablet. I have a Bible on my tablet. Uh, I'm filming on my iPhone or I would show you the app on my iPhone that's a Bible and they're so readily available and so easy to download. All you have to do is look it up. And, and I do want you to check out the fourth chapter of Philippians, especially verses 6, 7, and 8, because your life can be so different if you just turn it over to God and Jesus Christ. Remember that Jesus is the reason for this season. I hope each and every one of you have a Merry Christmas. I know that there will be sadness out there, but you can always find joy. Until next time, goodbye.